It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. Yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. to use that ventilator just to breathe. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. Hello, Chloe. 
<laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Ah, uh -huh. here's the DVD. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe.
nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund even if it wasn't another reality. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my God, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? 
I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. I am never leaving you again. I'm sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.
Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around.
promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, whatcha hiding? Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Back to Chloe now. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Looks like David already booked a room. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I wasn't total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. 
You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mindfuck. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. 
But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. I wasn't so nice to her this week either, when I took a picture of her covered in paint. Uh, it was not a proud moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not gonna be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. 
Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on now. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. That makes sense, but not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Good to see you out and about, Max. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week, I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Would you like a partner for a quick photo op? I feel Good to see like you out the sky about, wants Max. to yell at us. Get that food in your belly. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. 
Okay, Brooke, um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Evan, of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or- Oh, Kate's- That is so Chloe. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. 
That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Yeah. Uh. Get off me, bro! Uh. 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 Corin, stop uh. it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go, now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. 
What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. So now we have to see Frank all the way out here. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. 
Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompadou how to be my friend. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is, not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Cool, Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? 
I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. I'm so glad you're working with me on this. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive.
Max, there is no logical link between those clues. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. See if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I can see you know how to rock that big board. This makes no sense, Max. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. You're treading water, Otter. Try again. See if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max.
there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. All oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Better look for any clues or numbers that could be his pen code. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Yes, uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills.
At least David was finally going after the right suspect. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Looks like this isn't the right combination.
So, this infamous party was the fourth. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. 
Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, no. look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. This tractor has paid its dues. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. Ah, the good old days. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. <sighs> Nothing here. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. I should go upstairs and get Chloe to help me. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions.
That looks sturdy enough to stand on. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Here's the other end of the rope. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Here's the other end of the rope. So, that didn't work at all. strikes again. <clears throat> wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course.
This bunker is so surreal. in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. What the hell is this? Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. More survivalist supplies. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Imagine chilling in this room? I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. What's with the Prescott's and creepy art? This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. So who's using this fancy tripod? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. This picture is framed different. Rachel, Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Son of a bitch.
I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. That eclipse! You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too much. Jesus, moves. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey, I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know, I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh, uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon.
need to find Nathan and take him down. Sick now? I can drink more later. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore Tex club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max. I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. 
I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Justin's just a little buzzed. The tide is turning. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh. Good night, sweet prince. in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. Hello, Brooke. Max. I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. But now I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Oh, no. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to do the movie, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and... 
kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, tonight is still young, bro. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. This section is so lame. I heard they wouldn't let Kate Martin You did worse club. than my dad. He pays for all this yes. shit. I can't be too. Going to a Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? But we'll see. Victoria, your picture is so hard to win. Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, did you? I'm trying not. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So... Why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean. Hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. 
That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Look at me, I got the judge of the contest suspended. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now, so listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around you. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. Okay, I tried. She's not gonna believe me over her vortex club. Oh, good. Chloe's here. Oh, she obviously didn't find Nathan. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide in here. So, you made it. Oh, uh... Hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, 
I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Oh. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? God, I'm gonna fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. 